Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my Vogue Pearl extensions that I have in my hair. So if you guys are interested, if you've been wanting to get semi-permanent extensions, but you know, don't really know the pros and cons and things like that, and you want to know all the ins and outs of how extensions work, then please keep watching. So my journey with my extensions started literally nine months ago, and I know I'm sitting down quite late, but I really wanted to wait the whole term of what they claim is like the right time to be getting your hair replaced to kind of give you guys a full scoop of what my experience has been like and what kind of works, what doesn't, etc. So I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and over here, the number one most rated place for extensions was the salon called The Extensionist. So I called around a couple other places and asked about their techniques and things, but The Extensionist seemed to know the most about it and was the most helpful in terms of making me feel comfortable and everything like that. At the time I got it, I still had my black hair, my natural virgin hair. I'd never had it colored or anything like that, so I was also curious as to like what colored head, hair would look like so that was another thing they did you could get like lighter piece of extension underneath um, and it would like peek through your natural hair color to kind of give you a nice highlight in the sun or whatever it may be so i was also interested in that to see like what a different color would look like and to get myself a little bit more used to the idea of getting my hair colored and here we are today with the balayage situation going on with a warm caramel although this is not my final look that i want i want an ash brown final kind of color but uh this is like a transition phase that I had to do in, in order to get there in a healthy way without really ruining my hair in the process. So this is a transitional phase currently. I went on to their website. I'll tell you guys a little bit about it. These extensions are actually called the Vogue Pearl installations. So you can go to theextensionist.ca to check out a little bit more about their products. And this is in no way, shape or form sponsored. Um, this is literally just my honest thoughts, my opinions and my own experience with their extensions. So right when you go on their webpage, you'll see like it says their Vogue Pearl extensions are color safe. They have a seven month wear duration, but I have actually um, taken really good care of them. I oil my hair very frequently, probably once every two weeks without fail. And um, that's like a minimum. I'll even go like once a week or even twice a week sometimes. It literally just depends on how busy I am, what my day contains and everything like that. But yeah, they claim to be good for seven months, but I'm on the ninth month right now with my very first installation and I literally have no complaints. They still look fine. And this is actually what they look like right now. I'll give you guys a better look. So yeah, as you guys can see, they still look really healthy. I'll actually show you guys what hair products I use too. BB Hairdresser Invisible Oil. This guy is amazing to leave in after a shower. I have it in my hair right now. I also use the BB Hairdresser's Invisible um, UV Protector and like Heat Protectant right out of the shower. So these two are like my go-to hair products that I live by. So that's what I use. And for my oils, I have a whole concoction. This is like, I make like a little mixture inside a squeeze bottle and I just put it all over my scalp, leave it overnight if I can. So that's kind of maintenance wise, but it wasn't really much more than what I did on a regular day anyways before my extensions. This is kind of what my hair routine has always been. It wasn't anything, you know, more in terms of taking care of my hair for myself. So yeah, color safe, seven month wear duration, completely hidden both up and down. Their extensions have no chemicals, adhesives, braids, and threads. And it is also safe for fine, low density and brittle hair. All good things. I was instantly even more curious after reading about their extensions. I was like, you know what? This could be good. A, I can get some more length in my hair, a little bit more volume, which who doesn't love? And B, I can kind of get a lighter hair color to see what a little bit of color in my hair 
would look like and whether I'd like it or not. That was like my initial thing going in. So I called them up, booked an appointment and right off the bat, they really accommodated my needs. They heard exactly what I was looking for in these extensions. And then I was able to go in for a consultation for them to like even examine my scalp and kind of see what would work for me. And they showed me some options and booked me in for an appointment right away. I will insert some clips of me at the salon and what my hair looked like prior to and what I had experienced after. Hey friends, I'm just checking in really quickly. This is me straight out of the salon. Just got my hair extensions put in. Um, wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So you can kind of see like little brown pieces that are peeking through, especially if I like go in the light. Let me just catch that light right there. Um, you can see like the lighter um, colors kind of peeking through. Um, yeah, like I am in love. This is like the length. It's just giving me so much more fullness um, at the bottom and the finish is just beautiful. Um, as far as like the pressure goes, it's everything's looking good so far. At the beginning, I did feel like a little bit of pressure on the weft that she started with, but that's because the other parts weren't done and all the pressure was just like accumulating in one area. So that's why I was feeling that, but when she got through it, it's just like poof, went away. Um, yeah, and I think uh, as the days go by, I'll just get even more used to it. So it won't be uh, an issue at all. But as of right now, I love it so much. And yeah, I will keep you guys updated if anything changes, but this is literally right out of the salon, what it looks like, what the final product is. All right, I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. I got these extensions on August 25th, 2020. They also offer payment plans. They have five different options for the types of hair extensions you can get. If you're just someone like me who's looking to get some more volume, a little bit more length, a little here and there, then you can also go there as well. So it caters to a whole wide range of people. You know, oftentimes we think, oh, if somebody has extensions, oh, they don't really have hair to begin with or da 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 da, da whatever it may be. Um, that is not the case. Hair extensions are for anyone and everyone and they look fab. So they have the Peekaboo set, the Rising Star, Starlet, and Superstar. So in chronological order, it goes from the least amount of hair extensions to the most. And if you want like really crazy volume, then the Superstar, which is like 200 grams of, grams of density in the hair, you could go for that, which looks awesome, but it is a lot of like a lot more stacks of the hair. I'm gonna actually sh insert the clip now where they kind of hand weave the extensions in my head. So I decided to go with the Peekaboo set and what that entails is it's only 25 to 40 grams of density. It's best for adding density or pops of color and highlight and up to one inch of additional length. They offer the Peekaboo set in two different lengths. You can either get 16 inch or the 20 inch. I ended up getting the 20 inches of hair extensions. So what they did was they put in the 20 inches of extensions in and then they cut it because apparently it's always good to cut off a little bit of the end of the extensions. I don't know, to like blend in more, I guess, with your hair. So they did like the scissoring to blend it into my hair after they installed the extension in. And I only have one weft. So my weft currently starts off from here. You can see like the first little bead and then it goes all the way under my head and back around over here. Like no one would be able to tell that I have extensions. <laughs> so I got the 20 inch and that ranges in Canadian dollars from $255 to $385 depending on kind of what other services you get. You might want like a color blend or something like that. So I definitely have to pay in the lower end just because I got like one color installed good to go. Alright guys, now let's move on to some, like I wouldn't really call them cons, but like some 
maintenance things that you have to do to keep up with your extensions. Every month, because the extensions kind of fall down, you have to get them tightened again. So what happens is the extensions over here, as your hair grows and it goes down, the extension itself also comes down with the hair. So you have to, every four weeks, if your hair grows fast like me, um, you have to get that extension tightened back up to the root like as you can see i'm due for a touch up on may 20th i believe and right here you can see this has already grown out it needs to be like stuck to my scalp like that so every four weeks i have to go in and get it touched up and that costs 33 dollars with tax if i'm not mistaken that's kind of the one maintenance thing you have to do all throughout if you want to keep these semi-permanent extensions so besides that the other con about these extensions is that I can't always put my hair up in a bun and especially if I've gotten it tightened a day or two ago I have to wait at least like two weeks that's when it starts to loosen up a little bit from your scalp and then you can kind of put them back up because what essentially happens is when you put your hair up you're flipping like you're literally flipping the extensions to go the opposite way and up and that puts a lot of pressure on them and you don't want to be doing that because it's also going to tug at your roots especially if you've just gotten your hair extensions tightened that way it can be damaging to the scalp so you don't want to be tugging and pulling at your roots so that's like the one major thing that i still don't like but have to live with if I want the positives of the extensions. Yeah so besides that I really have no complaints and it's just been really fun honestly to have these extensions in. And in terms of using heat products like I said you always want to use a heat protectant. You always want to oil your hair and put like hair masks on and things like that. I don't really do hair masks I'm more of like just straight up good old castor oil, almond oil, I think black seed oil I also have. I just like mix them all in. I also use this really nice Canadian brand called Hair Savior and it's 100% organic. This stuff is awesome, especially if you want like hair growth. It's a local brand, which I always love to support. That has been my experience with my hair extensions. I've been having a lot of fun with them. So there you have it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys about my extensions and the experience I had with it. If you have any questions at all that you wanted me to answer, please leave them down below in the comments section and I will for sure get back to you. Thank you so much once again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Hey everyone, I am just checking in. It's been about three and a half weeks since I got my extensions and they are looking real nice still. So I'm not gonna lie, the first couple days it was a little bit hectic to sleep with them, to get used to them, but afterwards they have been a breeze. This is my update. I am still in love with them. I am probably gonna get them for a long time before I get bored or something new comes along. And yeah, that's just what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this is uh, what it's been like so far living with these extensions. Jump.